Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com about to embark on an hour-long break. 2017 Topps Chrome Baseball 12-box hobby case. Pick your team number four from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Uh, big thanks to all of these people right here for getting into the break. Now, you notice that the Yankees are blank because everyone here gets a shot at the Yankees right here. So I'm going to make one person very happy, 28 other people so there's everyone right there. Let's roll the dice. Name on top gets the Yankees. One and a four, five times. One, two, three, four, and after four. I said five times, right? Yeah, four and one more time. Five, fifth and final time. Name on top is Joseph Johns. That's like getting a hit right there, Joe. Joseph Johns, after five times, gets the New York Yankees. Congrats. All right, let's print this list out. Now, if you're watching on YouTube, um, I will do kind of a quick autograph recap at the end of every box. So basically, you can just forward to for, fast forward to the end of every box, and I'll do a quick auto recap there instead of one big one at the end. All right, there it is, 12 boxes. Good luck, everyone. Now, after this, we'll still have time to do breaks after this. So this should take us uh, about up to about 9 o'clock, a little after 9 o'clock Pacific, a little after midnight Eastern. And, um, yeah, a little after 9 o'clock Pacific, midnight Eastern, and we'll have... Probably a couple more hours after that to do more breaks. So here is the official printout, the official list. Joe Johns, you need to be, you need to have some sort of, uh, put one of those little things right there next to your name to indicate that you won that spot. Nice. And Ziggy had the last spot mojo with the Rays. All right. Okay. Get comfortable, everyone. Good luck. So, once again, we'll do quick little auto recaps at the end of every box. And we'll, um, and this break will take about an hour, so get comfortable, folks. Um, visit uh, Jaspie's Hockey Land and on YouTube and visit, uh, they're live right now, and visit 10 Buck Breaks on YouTube. They're also live right now. And join some of those breaks. If you're like, oh, I missed out on this break, but you still want to do something, Go hang out with Hockey or the 10 Bug Break Channel. All right. Good luck, everyone. Baseball season coming down the home stretch, which is exciting. Just August and September, and that's it. My Dodgers doing very, very well. Leading the division by 14 or 15 games. Let's see how they fare in the playoffs, because at this point, the Dodgers don't want to end up like the Golden State Warriors, right? <laughs> like, have the best regular season record and then not win it all. You're kind of expected to at that point. I'm wondering, of the teams that have had the best records in baseball, how many of them have actually won the World Series? I want to say not very many. I think the Mariners were the last team to just go nuts and win like 116 games or something like that. They did it in 2000, early 2000s or something like that. So, there you go. Joe Johns 
saw that he got the Yankees. I think you might be, I think you might be lagging a little behind, Joe Johns. But congrats on those Yankees. Have none of them won World Series? But yeah, uh, I, I, unfortunately, that 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 great Mariners team didn't win a World Series. There was a late '90s Yankees team, I think, that also won a boatload of games, but didn't end up winning the World Series. There's T.J. Rivera, autograph right off the board. Shahade with the Metropolitans. It's been a while since I've done this. Aaron Judge. We'll set these aside because even these Aaron Judges can still get uh, some dollar dollar bills in your pocket. We'll set these Jay Bruce's aside too. Those negative parallels. There's Josh Bell Blue. That's 30 out of 150 on that Josh Bell. Pirates with that one. That would be uh, Jerry with that. And Cody Bellinger, a little Dodger Joe Mojo. That is for Chris Danielson and the Dodgers. Nice. So there was the TJ Rivera for the Mets. And now we go across the country to Los Angeles to get that Cody Bellinger on card autograph. Nice. And 154 out of 499. Nice hit, Chris Danielson. Sometimes these are numbered, that one isn't. Sometimes those are autographed. Is that a gold or no? I think this part has to be, that back sign confuses me a little bit. And there's Hunter Dozier right there. But nice start to the break, folks. Bellinger and TJ Rivera. I'll um, I'll sleeve and top load all of those uh, parallels too at the end of the break. So in terms of the best record, um, it, it was Derek Gilbert saying it was 2001. The Mariners went 116 and 46, only to lose four to one to the Yankees in the ALCS. For, I mean, I guess this this is true for all sports, but I feel like with baseball it is even more true, truer, um, that the regular season and the postseason, especially as it is constructed now, are two completely different beasts. Um, I have a number of friends who are who are uh, San Francisco Giants fans, unfortunately, and and uh, each time you know they've won a few World Series in recent months. And I'll ask them, hey, at the beginning of the season, did you ever think that it was like this was going to happen? And it was like there was, they were like, no way. Not until the middle of the playoffs did we think that there was ever even a chance for the World Series. But the regular season told us nothing. So it's all over the place, yeah. It's a, the, yeah, it's a, it's a crapshoot sometimes, the playoffs. So you have, you, you have to construct a team two different ways. You know, you have to construct a team with the regular season in mind just so you can get into the playoffs in the first place. And then you have to construct a playoff team after that. Now, this season feels a little different for the Dodgers in, in the sense that they had a great season last year, but I think they had a great regular season team last year. And they still came up, you know, a couple, two or three games away from reaching the World Series. But you can kind of tell it felt more like a regular season team. This season feels a little, a little more different, I think. The offense seems to be a little more well balanced and a little more potent. Bullpen's doing great, et cetera, et cetera. But there's certainly a buzz in LA. There's Yoan Mankata. 
There's uh, Brian Dozier, negative parallel. And speaking of the Mariners, Mitch Hanniger. Nice. That goes to Seattle. That's for Dakota. There it is. Mitch Hanniger for the Mariners. Mariners have an inter interesting sort of young team that they're constructing out there, surrounded by the Canoes and Nelson Cruises. And there's Tyler Glass now. Felix Hernandez is of the world. See, the wild card changes everything. You know, there's Tyler Glass now for the Pirates. He could be he could represent front line rotation right there. It's not gold. There's Chad Pinder. 007 out of 299. There's Tyler Austin. Sometimes these are these are autographed. And that's it for that box. King D, what's going on? And Mrs. King D, the queen. How are you? All right, glass now in Mitch. Next one. Yeah, Derek Gilbert was saying earlier, not recently, but as a Reds fan, for, for a few years there, felt great going into the playoffs. <laughs> we got no hit one year, blew a 3-1 lead another. It's so depressing being a Reds fan. The Reds have a decent farm system coming up, though, don't they? I feel like they do, no? They got Robert Stevenson, Tyler Stevenson. They've got some young players coming up the ranks. Scott Shebler, I like Scott Shebler. Jesse Winker is up. Jesse Winker is a good hitter. Maybe needs a little more power for a corner outfield guy, but you've got him. Rysel Iglesias. A lot of great baseball teams out there with a lot of young talent. Um, just has to come together. I heard something today that um, I thought it was, it was something that I obviously will take credit for. Um, was the idea that was the idea that Bryce Harper could go to the Philadelphia Phillies in a couple years when he's an unrestricted free agent. And I was and I was yelling at the TV at MLB and I was like that's not, that's what I was saying I said that I said that earlier I said that last summer or something like that because they have a lot of young players that are coming up the ranks and believe it or not the Phillies are are not scared to spend money so they'll, they'll do it you know so they got a young core who knows It'd be like maybe maybe we just need to have a Bryce Harper there for the for like a ten year contract to anchor that young team. Could be interesting. We got that one's a parallel. Green, Gregory Polanco, 88 out of 99. And rookie autograph, Hunter Renfro for the Padres. That'll go to Ziggy. Hunter Renfro having a pretty decent season. And wow, it must be a Cody Bellinger case. Purple Cody Bellinger this time. 154 out of 250 on that Cody Bellinger. That's for Chris Danielson. Little Dodger Joe Mojo. I've seen, we've done a number of these cases. I've seen zero, and now I see two. Clayton Kershaw purple. 255 out of 299. He's recovering from a back thing. Yeah, I think Bellinger's only a couple home runs behind Aaron Judge. No, it's not gold. That's not an autograph. There's Aaron Judge. Of 
Corey Seager, Corey Seager. Steven Piscotti. And there's Aaron Judge. Freshman Flash. So nice Cody Ballinger. Nice, and this is for the Padres. So NL West doing well in this box. Derek G saying, yeah, we got it, but we have good uh, young prospects on the Reds, but we'll end up trading them all. I mean, that's kind of what you have to do, though. Because at, the Reds, as constructed, weren't really doing anything. So you kind of have to know when to say when and be like, okay, let's move these guys. Let's try to start over. Let's try to rebuild. I don't think Votto's going anywhere, though. MH saying he saw the one of one Aaron Judge. Freshman flash pulled. Wow. See, what, what does that go for? Especially since Aaron Judge has not been terribly common in these Chrome products, so they've been a little bit harder to chase. King D saying he'd go with Bellinger before Judge all day. Derek Gilbert saying, yeah, for long term, I would too. So would I. That's right. Cody Bellinger does have a cycle, King D. That's, that's what I've been saying. I mean, yeah, Judge can hit 500-foot home runs, but I don't think you get extra runs. I don't think you get extra runs for hitting it far, right? Same, same amount. It's worth the same. But, uh, I mean, Aaron Judge, turned, I mean, the funny thing about Aaron Judge is that he was called up in September last year, right? He played for a solid month or so, and he was only hitting 179. People were asking, people were saying, let's trade this guy. People in New York like, get rid of him. He's a bum. Let's let's trade him. Let's get rid of him. You know? He's just a tall, goofy, lanky mofo. And let's, let's get him out of here. And now, every, Yan every Yankee fan is just like, OMG, you know, Aaron Judge is the next greatest thing in the world. You know, blah, 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 blah. So, I mean, how, how quickly things can change. Yeah, I mean, I think, I, I think, you know, I don't think that's really a huge scouting secret, I think. I think Bellinger is sort of a better all-around player. He's a better defender, that's for sure. Uh, might have a little bit better plate discipline. Spot pitch is a little bit better. Carlos Asuaje autograph. That goes to the Padres. Ziggy with that one. Benny's also saying long-term wise, those bigger guys always seem to have a little bit of back trouble, right? Oh, that's 29 out of 50. Nice. Yeah, that's it's possible too. A lot of back trouble. Speaking of backs, Joe P, a big Diamondbacks fan, Definitely letting me know that the Diamondbacks have taken the lead against my Dodgers in what an, in a three-game set out in Arizona, I think, out in the desert. Fourteen out of fifty. Nolan Arenado gold that goes to Evan and the Rockies. Now King D, who's uh, who's speaking kindly about my Dodgers, is an Astros guy. He's he's a big fan of the the Bregmans and the Correas of the world. There's Mr. Judge again. Yeah, that's what I hear too, Darren Mack. There's Rob Segadin for the Dodgers. Nice. He was having a great season until he got injured. And then he kind of got overshadowed by like the Chris Taylors of the world. Um, yeah, that's what I heard too, Darren Mack, that, uh, that Judge Autos are just a lot harder to pull. 
Well, I didn't. I hadn't seen any Cody Bellinger either until until this break. And we've seen zero uh, Aaron Judge autographs. Today could be the day, though. You never know. We got a lot of boxes to go. So there's Rob Segadin, there's Carlos Asawaje. Yeah, if the Dodgers lose tonight, I think only only 14 games. I think they're 14 games ahead of the Diamondbacks, 13 or 14. Not, not time to worry at that at this point. <laughs> not concerned. In fact, I'd rather have the Dodgers have some sort of a a losing streak or something like that going into the playoffs, you know what I mean? I feel like, you know, you get nervous about does a team peak too early, all that sort of thing. I mean, I don't know. Like, I mean, the playoffs are a crapshoot anyway. How can you really turn it on or off? It's just hard. You just kind of have to go with the momentum. Cross your fingers, see what happens. Zask asking you, when does when does cardboard connection release a checklist? Yeah, usually the day it's released. It's usually when they actually when they get the checklist from the manufacturer. So some products they get it earlier, some products they get it later, some products they get it the same day. Just depends on when. But usually once they receive an official checklist, their turnaround is uh, is generally pretty quick. Cardboardconnection.com's turnaround is pretty quick. Yeah, for the Astros, well, it's just, you, know, you guys just have to get healthy, King D. I think that for the Astros, it's just a matter of getting healthy, and they should be back on track. And nice orange parallel, Nelson Cruz, 18 out of 25, nice one for the Mariners. That'll be Dakota. I believe those oranges are, um, are specific to these hobby editions. And more Mariners, Dan Vogelbach. Set that right there. Breeze through these. Yeah, the Dodgers really did beat up on the Mets last weekend, though. Didn't, didn't seem fair. Nice Kyle Seeger negative. Should be expecting one more. There it is. Reynaldo Lopez. Nice one for the White Sox. That goes to Team Nyquist. And that's one of those special orange parallels. 10 out of 25. See other parallels we can find here. Looks like that's it. Braden Shipley at the end right here. It's Yohan Mikata. Looks like he could be a star for the White Sox as well. The White Sox people are saying, you know, people are saying the White Sox feel kind of like the Cubs from a few years ago. So they got a great young team. After moving some guys, they got a lot of guys. Moving Adam Eaton was a bit, I think, yielded a lot of players. Um, moving Chris Sale yielded them guys like Yohan Mankata, right? If I'm not mistaken. And so they're they quiet. They're quietly building a really nice team too.
Yeah, you guys just called up Tyler White, right? We saw a lot of Tyler White autographs from previous year's products. What's cool is that we're already starting to see returns on some uh, some Bowman baseball we must have done a year or two ago. You're already starting to see some players climbing up the ranks and kind of creeping into the majors. Remember all the uh, bring, bringing back Jesse Winker for the Cincinnati Reds as an example. We saw a lot of his autographs um, a year or two ago, maybe a year, year and a half ago, and that. Um, and he's now getting some playing time, you know, with the Reds. He's doing pretty decently. So he could be another guy that could that could blow up. There's a lot of young players that are seemingly have a lot of uh, a lot of potential. Yeah, King D saying he's been buying up some Tyler White. You believe in the Tyler White? Well, what position does he play? Does he not have a place in the depth chart? That's what he seems to be suggesting. Is that right, Benny? Our high schoolers getting playing time for the Reds? All right, Yohan Mankata. Speaking of him, he's got that's a nice negative variation there. And Donnie Hart. What are the or what were the Orioles doing, Clyde? I'm Clyde's not really an Orioles fan. I'm just saying in general. This goes to Clyde though. What are the Orioles doing? You know, they, they, I feel like they lost a lot. They should have just pulled the trigger. You know what everyone said? It's the owner, right, Angelos? But everyone's just like, they should have moved Zach Britton to get a boatload of prospects. They should have moved, you know, they should have moved, should have moved Manny Machado at this point, you know, if you're already considering moving Zach Britton. But... Got Evan Longoria, 23 out of 75. Rays have been playing well. Longo. Ziggy, last spot mojo, 23 out of 75. The Rays have been playing some good baseball. They've got a nice young team. Robert Gesellman for the Metropolitans. That'll be for Shahadi. Yeah, AJK, we pulled a couple of Cody Bellingers out of this case. We're always pulling big hits. It's Cody Bellinger. Gregory Polanco. Freshman Flash, Cody Bellinger. Derek's like, I know Cody spells it Bellinger, but Cody spells it wrong. He does. According, according to Mark, anyway, or customer Mark, according to him, Cody spells it wrong. Bellinger. Mark is a Bell Anger, and Cody is a Bell Inger. But I think we, we can all pronounce it the same. I just saw what Benny said earlier. He's like, I'm tired of my tax dollars going to the Reds. I feel like the Reds are on the cusp, though, of doing something, right? Oh, is that right? Oh, Dodgers just tied it up 2-2. Darren Mack was just saying that Cody Bellinger's a double away from another cycle. Oh, is that right, I mean, according to Darren Matt, why would he lie to me? Yeah, Darren McKenzie wouldn't lie to me. Two cycles, Aaron Judge who? That's what I would say. <laughs> Michael House predicting a Josh Smoker 420 out of 499 autograph. <laughs> we haven't seen the Smoker in a while, actually. It was two for three. He's got to have. Oh, maybe more. Maybe, I don't know. maybe he, he's got to need one more. All right, King D, I'll see you, man. Thanks for checking in. Oh, 
Or maybe he meant two at bats away from a possible a potential. Well, my, my He's got a homer already. Oh yeah, Darren Max is two away. He has the double oh, and the home run, so uh, the bad. single is easy. The triple is the hard one. I think the last time he did, he hit a triple. He hit a triple at the very he end. But, I mean, he kind of got lucky. The dude is like, missed yeah, the ball. <laughs> I mean, Cody Bell, the cycle's still a cycle. I don't care how it happens. The guy could boot the ball away. If it's still a triple, it's still a triple. And the Dodgers take the lead? Do they? There's Andrew Tolls. Speaking of Dodgers, Chris Danielson. Oh, I need to, I have, I have GameCast open in another window right here. Let's, let's get that going. All right, GameCast. Kel Franco, Philly's got an interesting young team. And purple Jose Altuve, 128 out of 299. Nice one for the Strohs. And there it is, looks like it was a single that scores a run. Dodgers up 3-2. Against the Diamondbacks, top of the seventh, Joe Jimenez. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. Joe P. and Arthur not talking anymore. I don't see them in the chat anymore. It's just like, it just sit down, be humble, Arthur and Joe P. Or Cody Bellinger. Uh, no, no vet base, I'm afraid, Evan. Yeah, Yasiel Puig has been playing a lot better. Apparently, uh, his just approach and maturity to the game is a lot better, too. You know? Apparently, he was, like, uh, apparently, he was, like, first to the ballpark on Sunday, you know? So, like, a few hours ahead. So, he's kind of kind of rebuilding that work ethic and the faith in his teammates, too. Ah, Arthur's conveniently working on his spreadsheet while the Dodgers go up 3-2. I see. Arthur's a big Diamondbacks fan, of course, as everyone knows. What will happen is, like, you know, if once the Dodgers start scoring, then it'll, then it'll always come back to money talk. Then Arthur will be like, well, of course, with a $200 million payroll, of course the Dodgers better be beating teams like the Diamondbacks. That's usually what happens. Uh, yes, rookie base ships. Yes, rookie base does ship. I mean, pretty much everything ships except for... Here, I'll, I'll show you. Yeah, insert shipped. Only vet base does not ship. So that means everything else does. Only vet base does not ship. So you still end up with a, with a good chunk of the break. Here, I'll, 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 sh I'll show you as we go through this box. Benny Askey was maddeningly bad for the team. No, I don't think so. Um, but I don't know if Mattingly was right for the team. You know what I mean? There's two different... I don't think he was bad for the team, but I don't know if he was particularly right for the team. He's pretty old school. Mattingly's an old school dude, and I think that with the new front office, they're kind of new school guys. You know, they want they, they want to talk a little more stats. They want to talk a little more, you know, stuff like that. You know, try to use more advanced metrics to, to, to construct lineups and, and whatnot. And Manny Lee was a little old school and wasn't as, like he understood it, but, and you know, likes it, but I don't think he was as receptive or, you know, and, and I don't think the Dodgers front office really trusted him to do that once they got in, you know, so he was kind of a lame duck as well. Kind of a holdover from the old sort of ownership and generation, so it's kind of worked out. Uh, Dominic Hootie, what's going on? No, I've never, I have, we have yet to pull a judge out of here. 
out of the 10 bucks breaks, out of the jumbo I've done, out of the... I mean, there's still four boxes left. There's Seth Lugo, Queens. But, uh, no, uh, you have to see a uh, Aaron Judge out of this Topps Chrome stuff. Apparently, they're hard to get, few and far between. Did see two Cody Bellingers today, one numbered, one base, one purple, one regular. See, Roman Quinn, part of that exciting Phillies team. Young, 38 out of 299, and exciting. They could, they could make some noise. I've been seeing a lot of these, though. Um, yeah, like I said, I saw MLB Network today. Someone else was had a similar idea that I did. They're Starling Castro, 122 out of 150 for Joe Johns and the Yankees. That Bryce Harper could be, like the Phillies could be a player for Bryce Harper, basically. Brett Phillips, Brew Crew. That'll go to Vincent T. Um, thankfully, though, we, we're not making anybody pay $500 for the Yankees. <laughs> um, in these 12-box chrome breaks, 12-box hobby breaks, we randomized the Yankees to one person in the break. So this time it was Joseph Johns who, uh, who got the Yankees. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. For example, like this is vet base. That's not going to ship. This will ship. That's an insert. That won't ship. That won't ship. That's a refractor, so that will ship. Nope, nope, nope. Yes, that's an insert. Nope, nope, nope. Yes, insert. Nope. Oh, wait, no. That's a rookie card, so yes, that will ship. Nope, nope, nope. Yes. Yes. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, the next question I usually get asked after I explain that is so what do you do with the vet base? Uh, we donate it to the Boys and Girls Club of America. There's a couple, uh, that's the main one we do. There's a couple of different charities that we, that we, uh, that we donate to. Yeah, sorry, e Eugenio Suarez is, 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 uh, is not going to get to whoever own whoever has the Reds in this one. Uh, sorry, Shahade with the Reds. That's Derek Gilbert's guy. I mean, listen, if there's refractors in there, it'll happen. AJ Casey, the Cubs need Harper after the season? I think the Cubs are fine. <laughs> and I don't think I don't think they're gonna have the payroll space uh, for Bryce Harper. You think Dominic? You think Bryce Harper's gonna go to the Cubs too? That's a lot of money. Oh, Benny uh, with the Mattingling thing was saying I was hoping he could uh, win a couple again to the Hall of Fame as a coach. See, I, I like Don. See, Don Mattingly was well liked in L.A. and I believe he's he's well liked in Miami too. He's a, he's a well liked guy. This is the right situation. We'll get there. Darren McKenzie saying, oh, the Mets traded Jay Bruce? So for what? Oh, that's interesting. To the Indians. Well, did you really want 220 and like 20 home runs patrolling right field? No, they had to move Jay Bruce. I mean, listen, they, the, the, the Mets are already halfway there. They've got a great pitching staff. If that staff stays healthy, you know, I mean, that's a great team. They just need to reconstruct that offense. You, with you know, when Cespedes in the middle of that lineup, you can construct around that lineup pretty easily. You know, get some, uh, you know what I would do? If I would just get strong defenders. You know, just to just to help all the the pitching staff get strong defenders, got good on base guys. You know that can get in front of uh, that can get on base in front of Yoannis Cespedes. Let him, and then just win games like three to one, three to two. I think that's how the Mets have to grind grind it out. I think, in my opinion. Any guesses on that redemption? Aaron Judge parallel autograph, maybe. Any guesses? We got Lindor right here. That's purple Lindor. 178 out of 299. Goes to the tribe. Speaking of the tribe, Joe Johns with that one. There's Aaron Judge. That's a refractor. So the base cards, I think, can still go for like 10, 15 bucks. Those refractors could go for like, what, 20 bucks? If not more. I know on like new release week, those were selling like hotcakes.
There's glass now. Freshman flash, not numbered. And Jacoby Jones. Black ink autograph, blue parallel. 108 out of 150. Nice one for the Tigers. That goes to Ryan. Michael H. M.H. guessing uh, Renfro on that redemption. Derek Gilbert guessing Bregman on that. It's more Aaron Judge. And Brad Ziegler. 34 out of 75, blue wave. Got Granky on the mound tonight. Jose De Leon. And Josh Bell back here. And behind Melky Cabrera is a rookie autograph of B R A. Brandon Brad Bradley Zimmer Indians there you go that will be for Joseph Johns there you go Joe Johns he's been playing pretty well right Yeah, that, Jacoby Jones playing baseball now. He's back back in the baseball game. It's like Tim Tebow. Almost done, folks. Look at this. See, time flies when you're having fun. Does, did it even feel like an hour? No, it didn't. Three boxes to go. Although maybe if you're watching a replay at home, it felt like an hour. But if you're watching live, it probably didn't feel like 45 minutes have passed by. We'll be done with this pretty soon. All right. Dominic was saying earlier, a few minutes ago, uh, let's be real, though. Aaron Judge is coming to the Cubs once he's a free agent. It's going to be a long time before Aaron Judge is a free agent, right? You have to go through so many like arbitration years and stuff like that. It'll, it'll be a while. By that point, you'll have to start worrying about how much you pay you know, guys like Chris Bryant once he's a unrestricted free agent. more packs to go, a few more boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. This is a, a 12 box hobby case. Pick your team number four of 2017 Tops Chrome Baseball. A nice chance to chat a lot of uh, baseball here. So thanks, thank you for hanging with me, ladies and gentlemen. We got Herman Marquez on the front right here for the Rockies. Rockies had a nice season, having a nice season. 80 out of 99, Josh Donaldson, Blue Jays. That's a green parallel. Uh, for the Bluebirds, Jaime with that one. And more Rockies. No, not more Rockies, but the first Rocky, Raimel Tapia. I guess I was thinking uh, Tulo. Uh, that goes to Evan. There you go, Evan, on the board with an auto. Nice. And freshman flash orange, Luke Weaver, 4 out of 25 for the Redbirds. That'll go to Mike Coster. Aaron Judge. 
Got a uh, black and white, the negative of Melky Cabrera. And Roman Quinn for the Phillies. That'll be for Ziggy. Yuli Gurriel. I like the old uh, late 80s wood frame set right there. 87, I think it was. All right. Two boxes to go. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> MH still still trying to call that Josh Smoker 420 out of 499 autograph. Well, we, still have, we still have four autographs to go, folks. Now, folks, if you want to try a um, if you want to try a uh, a jumbo break of this, we can find 40 autographs in there. Eight box jumbo, five autographs per box, 40 autos. So if you want to do that, that's on jazbeeshobbyland.com. AJK wondering who do you think will be the MVP in both the National and American League this year? I'll to be I'll be honest with you. I I'm not super uh have not been super paying attention super closely paying attention to the American League. I mean people are saying judge, but I, I have a hard time believing that a rookie will will get that. Um in the National League, I think it's gotta be I think it's gotta be Paul Goldschmidt. The guy has average power, speed, is is the is essentially the focal point of that that Diamondbacks offense. Everything is sort of builds around him, you know. He kind of protects everyone around him with with that bat and the speed that he has too. You take, you know, I mean, listen, the, the way the Dodgers are constructed, you can take guys like Bellinger or Turner out of the offense. They, they can find ways to continue to win, you know. But so, so for the Dodgers, it's more of a team effort, you know. But you you take the Diamondbacks out. Is that a redemption? Oh, white redemption right here. Any guesses on that? But and you know and Go and Goldsmith puts up the sexy numbers too. Puts up the average. Puts up the home run. Puts up the RBIs. Puts up the stolen bases too. And he steals. People forget how quick he is. Clyde says Altuve in the uh, American League. Evan says Arenado in the National League. AJK is going Trout. You know, Trout, even after missing time, I think Trout's wins above replacement, I believe, is still creeping up on some of the top guys. All right, there's Jay Bruce. Been told that uh, people in the chat are saying he just got traded to the Indians. Good move for the Indians, I think. Uh, Amir Garrett, orange, for the red legs, four out of 25. Uh, that will go to Shahadi and the Reds. There is Pat Valaika for the Rockies. That goes to Evan. Nyquist says AL MVP, the Moose, Mike, Mike Moustakis. The Royals make the playoffs, maybe. All right, there's Garrett Cole back here. And the last auto of the second to last box is behind cargo it's 
Rookie autograph purple refractor. Joe Jimenez. Nice. Darren Mack got it. Are all of his redemptions look like this? Is that why? I don't even know where Joe Jimenez goes. Why am I bl blanking on that? I usually know usually know my baseball pretty decently. Someone's going to tell me in the chat as soon as I look this up, I'll bet. Tigers, maybe? Yeah, Tigers. So that goes to uh, goes to Ryan. Nice purple, which I believe are out of like two fifty, something like that. And the last box coming up. Good luck, folks. I'm almost done, Chunk. I'll explain it right after the break. It's pretty easy. Basically, you get eight spots. So you get one card on the checklist. I'll explain it afterwards. Evan's making the case for Nolan Arenado. He's saying Arenado has a couple walk-offs, a cycle, clutch hitting, outstanding defense. I don't know if walk-offs or clutch hitting generally count tally up to win an MVP. I see what you're saying, though. I mean, he's he's putting up the numbers, though. If the Rockies make the playoffs. That could make the difference. I think they do the voting before the playoffs start, right? Box, boys and girls, we're pretty much we're done. Oh, I'm gonna do this break in, in just a little less than an hour. Nice, excellent, good job, Joe. And thanks everyone for uh, hanging with me and chatting with me. This certainly makes a break that's this long. I mean, it's a nice break. I like doing tops Chrome, but if it, if I had no one to talk to, it would get pretty lonely. So I appreciate everybody chatting with me as we're doing this sort of long break and kind of keeping me entertained. Hopefully, I've been able to keep you mildly entertained while we're doing this break. We have an eight-box jumbo break on the site that I would love to do. That's on jazpiecehobbyland.com. Please check that out. Maybe we can knock that out tomorrow. Added some break credit to it, too, some money. All right, last box. Good luck, everyone. Still have not seen an Aaron Judge autograph yet. There's John Lester. Negative parallel. Bellinger, those base cards can do decently on a secondary market. And Jarrell Cotton, former Dodger prospect, Jarrell Cotton, in uh, in Oakland now for Lee. Big strikeout guy, just needs to get a little control in order, and he could be I mean, maybe a good starter, but could be a reliever too. Pat Nashik, Nishik, I think, 003 out of 150. He got traded somewhere. I forget where. He got, he's, he's somewhere else now. Nationals, maybe? Oh, you're welcome, Evan. Thank you for hanging out with me. It's a fake out autograph. I need one more auto out of here. And it's another Oakland A, Chad Pinder. That's for Lee Cheeseman. I wonder when Chad Pinder is going to do something with, uh, I wonder if he's gonna do something with Tinder, he should. Oh, Nishik's on the Rockies now. Yeah, I think I was listening to something on the radio where, I think his, uh, there's a Von Nova 
where the general manager's brother used to play with Pat Nishik, and that was kind of like the, the start of how the deal worked out. Anyway, that's just random trivia on, uh, on random relievers here at jazbeeshobbyland.com. This is Joe. That was 12 boxes of Topps Chrome Baseball 2017 edition. Thanks for joining us. There's a jumbo on the site. Let's do that one too. jazbeeshobbyland.com. We'll see you next time.